Hello there, it is Jeanette here from Epiculist and I am going to be giving you a nerd moment here. So before we continue, please like, share, and follow me on YouTube, on uh, social media, Facebook and Instagram. Follow me in the classes. Uh, we are going to have so much fun. So today we are going to be talking to you about the Maillard reaction. And I'm going to be giving you five facts about the Maillard reaction. The Maillard reaction is a chemical reaction between amino acids and reducing sugars uh, that gives that flavor to brown uh, foods, that je ne sais quoi, that mm, I don't know what that is, that unami, that oh, that is very good. So fact two. The reaction was first published in a journal in 1912 by none other than Louis Camille Maillard from France, and he described that transformation of the flavors and made the realization of the amino acids and the reducing sugars. Fact three, the examples include seared steaks, roasted marshmallows, breads, and other food items that have browned in the process, giving that flavor, that unique flavor. Fact four, the Maillard reaction occurs only when there is heat. So basically, if you are going to stare at your, your steak, nothing is going to happen. What will happen is that your steak will just stay there and nothing will react. You need to cook that steak. You need to sear it in the pan. You need to put it on the barbecue. You have to even put it in the oven, whatever work works. But basically, you need to apply heat in order to create that Maillard reaction. Fact five. Caramelization is not the same as the Maillard reaction. Although caramelization, which is the cooking of sugars or the browning of sugars, happens at the same time as the Maillard reaction, there's two distinct points of this. One, the Maillard reaction needs to have amino acids in order to react with the reducing sugars. Caramelization, however, is just the browning of the sugars, so the reducing of the sugars. So basically what happens is that caramelization and the Maillard reaction could happen at the same time, and to us it looks the same, it seems the same, it tastes the same, but on a chemical level when you're actually looking through a microscope and looking more closely, there is a distinct difference between the two. So there you have it. You have the five key points to the Maillard reaction. So next time you are making a steak, you will have a new appreciation of how that steak is cooked. For more information, for more fun facts, nerdy moments, and cooking moments, please follow us on YouTube, like us, react to this video, Follow us on social media such as Facebook and Instagram. And by all means, join me in one of my awesome online cooking classes. All right, so talk to you later. Bye-bye.